Hey screen printers, in this instructional screen printing video, we're going to show you how to screen print foil transfers using Wilflex's Epic HD Clear 2. Now we found and have verified from expert screen printers such as Denver Print House and Graphic Elephants that HD actually works better than traditional foil adhesive for doing foil transfers. HD Clear has tremendous adhesion properties, particularly when it's hot. Also, we have found that HD Clear does work better than foil adhesive with inline machines such as the Rock Foil because we're unable to flash the glue prior to foiling. In this video, we'll show you best printing practices for Wilflex's Epic HD Clear 2, as well as printing foil transfers on a manual press. Let's start with the screen mesh. To properly transfer the entire foil film, it's important that we get enough ink deposit to the garment prior to foiling. We recommend using a 110 or lower mesh. For this video, we're using a 110 mesh with a good 20 plus newtons of tension. We have also built up the stencil using the round side of the scoop coater and a 2 over 2 coat of emulsion which gives us a higher EOM and allows more ink to deposit to the garment. When printing, we want to ensure proper off contact at least 1 8 inch. As you can see, HD Clear is rather thick, so good off contact and good tension allows it to transfer to the garment. We want to use a 70 to 80 durometer blade or a triple durometer blade to control this slightly thicker ink. Prior to printing, we load the ink into the stencil using a heavy load pass with a medium squeegee pressure and angle. For manually printing, I recommend using heavy pressure and a medium angle between 15 to 20 degrees. This would replicate on an automatic press. Two passes are typically needed to get a good amount transferred to the garment. Most of the time, for standard foil applications, you can just do two passes. However, if you're wanting to create some density, you can print, flash, print, and add more ink on top. Once printed, you can do three things prior to foiling. One, you can cure it through a conveyor tunnel. Second, you can flash it. And third, you could actually transfer it prior to curing at all. Now, if you're doing either of the latter two, either flashing or transferring direct to wet ink, we do recommend running down a conveyor dryer or tunnel afterwards to ensure a proper cure of the adhesive itself. HD Clear cures at 330 to 350 degrees, so run at a normal dryer setting prior to transferring. For your heat press, you want to transfer using a medium pressure of 40 to 50 pounds at about 330 degrees. Use a Teflon pad to protect the shirt. Put your foil face up, heat press for 10 to 12 seconds, let the shirt cool down so the transfer can stick to the garment, and then peel. If you're just flashing, I would recommend keeping your screen press very close to your heat press so you can take your shirt off hot, put it onto the heat press, and foil it right away. This should give you very similar results to curing fully through a conveyor oven prior to foiling. If you're going directly on press with wet ink, keep in mind that it could smush or smash your ink down, also your ink could fold or stick to itself, so you want to be very careful. I do recommend either gelling with a flash or going through a conveyor oven, and not going direct to wet ink. You can even experiment with this product without using a heat press. If you get the HD Clear very hot under the flash, when it comes out you can put the foil directly on using your hand and pressing it to the garment. You can even use an iron. This would allow you to do multiple colors of registration outside of it. However, since you're not applying full pressure, results could vary and be inconsistent. If you're having trouble with full adhesion, here are some things to try out. Ensure you're getting enough ink through the screen on press. If you see inconsistencies in your deposit, adjust your screen off contact or your squeegee and pressure and angle to even out your ink deposit. You can also print flash print to build up the deposit. Also, ensure your heat press is pressing firmly enough. Try it increasing the pressure slightly. Also ensure that you're letting the foil cool down long enough before peeling. Foiling is a fun and creative process and by far one of the highlights of our screen printing experience classes every weekend. You can get great results using Wilflex's Epic HD Clear if you apply what you've learned in this video. Check it out on our website screenprinting.com and be sure to subscribe to Ryan's YouTube channel for more great videos on screen printing.